Now this is a lesson all about how how to do some calculus upside down. And I like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you. Now we're going to learn how to do implicit differentiation, which is what you have to do whenever you can't get y by itself in an equation. So to start, you just take the derivative of both sides, so d over dx of y cubed equals d over dx of 2x squared plus 69. Now, we'll start with the right side because that is a little more simple. The derivative of 2x squared is 4x and here we're going to write dx over dx because that's the deriv derivative you actually get that you always get it but you always skip writing it because it equals 1 so we can just cross it out plus 0 derivative of 69. Now over here, differentiating with respect to y works just the same as respect to x. So you get 3y squared, but because it's with respect to y, you get dy over dx. Now, you want to get all your terms with dy dx on the same side and all your terms without dy dx on the opposite side of the equation, which this problem already has done. So then we just divide by 3y squared, giving us an answer, dy dx equals 4x over 3y squared. I have a question. How does the product rule apply to implicit differentiation? Now we're going to take the derivative of x squared y plus xy squared equals 6. To do this, we need to use the product rule, which is uv prime plus vu prime. So we're going to take, if this is u and this is v, we're going to take u, which is x squared, <laughs> times the derivative of y, which is dy over dx plus v, so y, times the derivative of u, which would be 2x. And then we have to do it to this one too. So to do that, we just do, this would be u and v also. And then we would take the u, which is x, times the derivative of v, which is y squared. So then we would have 2y dy over dx plus y squared times the derivative of x, which is just 1, and equals 0 because the derivative of 6 is 0. Okay, so now that we have this problem, we're going to have yeah. to simplify it. So we're going to start by taking out anything that doesn't have a dy over dx. So we're going to have minus y 2x and minus y squared, and we're going to take it out to the other side. So we're going to have x squared dy dx plus 2yx dy dx equals negative 2xy minus y squared. And I just rearranged the variables so it looks better. And then, then we're going to have to take this out of these equations. So we're going to just um, take it out and multiply it um, through. So we can just say this, 2x squared plus 2 yx equals negative 2xy minus y squared. And then if you multiply this through, you'll see that it's equal to this. So now we can just divide by x squared plus 2yx, both sides. And then we're left with our final answer, which is negative 2xy minus y squared over x squared plus 2yx equals dy dx, also known as y prime. I have a question. How do you take the second derivative? 
Now we're going to take the second derivative of this equation, y squared equals x squared plus 2x, because taking the derivative once just isn't fun enough. So we start out, derivative of y squared is 2y dy dx equals 2x plus 2. Now we collect all the dy dx terms have already been collected on one side, so we can do divide both sides by 2y and get dy dx equals 2x plus 2 over 2y. Now we can factor out a 2 from the top and bottom, leaving us with x plus 1 over y. That equals dy dx. Now to do the second derivative, we just differentiate this again, which we have to use the quotient rule. So d squared y over dx squared equals second times the derivative of the first, 1 minus the first, x plus 1, times the derivative of the second, dy dx, all over y squared. Now, we have dy dx, which we found right here, equals x plus 1 over y. So, d squared y over dx squared equals y minus x plus 1 times x plus 1 over y all over y squared. Now, this answer right here will get you full credit for the AP exam. So there's no point to take this further unless you really wanted to. I have a question. What happens if you take the third derivative? Take the 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 the